Hey guys, I got another knife review. Right now I'm going to be checking out the Almar SERE 2000. Um, this is a knife that was made uh, with design input by uh, Colonel Nick Rowe in the early 1980s. He was a U.S. Army SER, um, SERE school instructor I believe and um, so it's kind of a purpose-built tactical knife um, I'd say that would be the primary uh, use of this knife you know in tactical um, function well, I guess not primary you could use it for anything but uh, it's designed as a tactical uh, knife it's got a, a nice spear point here which is conducive to um, you know tactical functions stabbing penetrating functions um, I have to say I was never really uh, too into the Almar knives it never really appealed to me that much but I came across uh, an opportunity to do a trade um, for this knife and another knife which I'll review and uh, you know I decided to go with it and I'm happy I did because it's a pretty sweet knife um, this one is particularly sweet because it's not your standard uh, SEE or SERE 2000 this is the uh, Butch Volaton modified dual action um, model so uh, I believe these are pretty scarce pretty limited um, there's not a lot of these floating out there and uh, it's just a, a pretty sweet knife um, it's got uh, a you know whoops hit my tripod it's got a standard a 3.6 inch blade VG10 um, it's got a real nice fluid motion it's a really really sweet uh, action on this thing it's really fluid it's surprising actually um, it just really goes out with no problem no hiccups it's super smooth um, I really don't know why it is so smooth it seems like it's got Teflon or nylon washers um, but this is definitely smoother than any knife I've had that's not been on bearings I'd actually say that it's pretty similar in uh, action to the Benchmade triage I have I don't know what it is about it but they both just seem to uh, flip out in a similar fashion um, so as I said this is the Butch Volaton uh, modified or pimped edition um, as you can see there's nothing obvious to it uh, you know no you know cosmetic changes to the knife um, other than uh, Butch's uh, little maker's mark right there um, but where this thing really differs from all the others is the fact that it's a dual action knife you know as you as you can see I've uh, you know manual great function in here but uh, it's got a dual action automatic function also and the really cool thing about this is the matter or the manner in which you deploy the automatic uh, function to this knife it's a scale operated uh, deployment um, so it's super concealable not obvious to anybody that doesn't know how to do it um, what you do is you engage the side of the scale here and you slide it to the right and you can see it move that releases the the spring tension and which in turn releases the blade um, and when you use the uh, automatic function of the knife you have to it kind of stops down here because what you need to do is you got to really apply some pressure to close it to reset that spring and then once you do that, you know, you could just do it manually or, uh, you know, 
in the automatic fashion and as you can see it is extremely potent it flips it out there really fast um, probably the fastest automatic I've ever owned I've only owned three but definitely this is probably the fastest um, so that's that's a really sweet function um, you can see how it works down here it's generally this is just an open pillar construction knife you wouldn't have anything floating down in the middle here but this uh, metal piece down in the center is uh, a spring so right now it's resting right under the engaged lock bar so when you close it the uh, the tang of the knife comes into contact right there with the end of that spring and you have to close it apply quite a bit of pressure and then that resets it and pushes it back um, to the ready position and there's a little uh, so right about there there's a little uh, release mechanism that um, is triggered by the the scale movement so uh, as soon as you engage that scale enough I hit my tripod again that's not good it will uh, release the blade so appears to be okay um, that's pretty much how it operates and I really like this because um, in my locality let's just say that not really uh, allowed to have automatic knives so if for some reason you ever were in a situation where um, a law enforcement wanted to check your knife uh, there's no way unless of course they watch this video or know about this particular knife that they'll be able to discern the fact that uh, this is an auto as well not that I'm you know encouraging you to violate your your laws or anything of that sort um, but just as a general principle only the person that owns this knife is going to be able to figure out how to uh, use it um, unless you know you have some first-hand knowledge of how this thing works um, let me just talk about the knife real quick again this is a 3.6 inch spear point blade with a partial uh, swedge up here it's not sharpened or anything um, because it's exposed when the handles closed so you don't you wouldn't want to sharpen that it's got uh, double thumb studs kind of got a nice shape to them contoured um, it's VG10 steel so it's pretty good steel Japanese um, it's got an overall length of 8.5 inches so it's a pretty large knife you know as I said it's a tactical knife so they tend to be pretty large there it is next to the triage and pull it out next to a paramilitary tool about the same size but it's got a, a longer blade and uh, you know one downside to this knife is that it is really heavy for what it is um, it has stainless steel liners that are not uh, skeletonized in any way shape or form which I know some people like but personally I I wouldn't mind having them skeletonized but uh, in this iteration with the uh, dual action function pretty sure you probably wouldn't be able to skeletonize them um, plus with this model you have uh, the added metal from the spring and that whole mechanism so that adds to the heft um, but this is probably around six ounces it's got a uh, 0.15 inch thick uh, blade which is pretty thick but then you can just see how how thin it goes uh, goes down to when you get the swedge um, so it thins right out it's got a 4.9 inch closed length um, the steel is hardened to a 
Rockwell 58 to 60, so it's pretty hard. Um, it's got a nice deep carry black pocket clip, which carries really nicely. Um, and overall, I mean, it's got G10 handles with that really, really fine texture that I don't like. Um, but overall, it's just, you can see, it's just a very plainly designed knife, um, which I know attracts a lot of people to it because, you know, people don't like flashy knives all the time. But this is a good option for you if you're looking for something that's not um, overly stated, you know, just sort of subdued. You know, you got your black blade and your silver, or your silver uh, blade and your black handles. There's no jimping on this thing. You just got a nice uh, ramp on both sides of the uh, handle here, so it gives you a nice secure grip. Um, handles, handles got a nice grip. It's pretty thick, um, and again, pretty heavy. But, uh, I mean, it's it's not a bad grip to it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just giving you a quick rundown of this cool blade. Um, yeah, this is the Almar SERE 2000 Butch Volaton Edition. So I thank you for watching, and... Um, Please like the video and also subscribe to my channel for some more videos to come in the near future. Thanks.